<laughs> high in the balance. But yeah, that's how we recorded uh, now Mwanzo, including Laziz in the album. So we used to take turns. So I go in, lay guitars first, because I know the whole arrangement, uh -huh. laying the guitars. And then uh, we record the vocals. Um, yeah, and then what we should add was... But you fifth. individually record the vocals. It's not like... No, no, no. One, one like, part of time. By yourself. What we was very adamant. It's like, I don't want anyone else in this room. If you're recording guitar, you're by yourself. And it gives you all the motivation. You are the best. <laughs> Even though you know you're not. You're, like, you're the best of the best. And it really gave us, like, yeah. You usually feel good about yourself. Mm. Yeah, so we, we, yeah, that's how, that's how the process do you feel, went. Do you feel he allowed you to be you? Without Very having much. and accepted you guys for you. Oh yeah, one hundred. Which nobody did. Nobody had at that point. Mm. With our rounds everywhere and trying to see how we can record anywhere, you know, and feel really at home. And it's nothing against even these other people. It's yes. just you find your person mm. and you blend, and it's like, okay, this is it. This is where I feel the most comfortable. This is where I feel the most expressive. Let's go. And I love that because already that day is a lesson. It doesn't mean just because you've been offered an opportunity to record as a musician. I yeah. know that myself. I, I, I jumped around yeah, before yeah. finding Blackman. Yeah. You yeah. get what I mean? Yeah. And Blackman made me feel at home. Yeah. And he got me and understood me and allowed me to be me. Yeah. So I really love the fact that you've said you you guys also jumped around because yeah. I feel like to a young musician, yeah. don't just take every first opportunity. It doesn't mean that that's the right place for you to record. Yeah, and also if someone tells you, gives you a no, it doesn't mean that they are a bad person or they don't care about oh, you. Oh, that's deep. Yeah, because sometimes you're like, you feel entitled. You're like, ah, but you yeah, know I'm good. Why are you saying no to me? Mm. You know, but sometimes it just can't work. It's just not meant to be. And it's perfectly okay. Okay, let's talk yeah. about this Peña time. Yeah. At this time, um, is Mozoni Drama Queen there? Not yet, no. So it's the first it's Peña Stan, artist is Stan? Sauti So. Sauti So. No Della? No. Not yet. <laughs> no. Not yet. No, no just a band? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Those ones came a bit, a bit later. So okay. It's just, it's just Stan and us. And, and the whole of that album was recorded in a bedroom? The whole, the biggest chunk of it was in a bedroom. And mm -hmm. then now we moved to Rags to Records to record now, I remember very, very well, to record the percussions, which I called again ISO and bass, combo, and some, I think maybe one or two songs that added guitar. Electric, because I didn't know how to play electric. Uh -huh. I think, well, actually just one. Uh, blue uniform. Cinema Cosa Fane Uni Viera Di Nime Toka Kuimba Kitambulisho misina nimepoteza walena Sija chukua nyingine Na sija kata kosa nililo panya Sija kata kitambulisho sina Sija kata chini nimesha keti Usini seti ya fande Usini seti ya fande Mapato yangu ni madogo Na tegeme ya kidogo Ni kazi yangu Ujirangu Ujakata Kosa ulinopanya Ujakata Chini umejaketi Ujakata Kita mulicho una Nita kusepira ya Watajiria
Hey, this is crazy. Yeah. Okay, and at this time, have you guys been like, okay, we are signing a record deal with Peña? Is yeah. it a record deal? Like, is it clear now that yes. this is our first table? We don't yes. need to. Yeah. We're home. Yeah, it was very clear. I mean, we were a bit naive at the time, but then we were also trustworthy, and it felt right. And so that everything actually fit very well. It wasn't, I get it. It was a very good deal. We enjoyed it at, at that point. Yeah. As it was. Yeah, and we signed the deal and... So you actually p- signed when, yeah, we, when signed, we, yes. we said yeah. a contract was yeah. signed? Yeah, yeah. For, it was a four-year or five-year contract. So th- for this meant that they were in charge of distribution, Everything. duplication, Everything. mixed production. Yeah, yeah. We just show yourself. <laughs> just come show with your up. songs. Just come with your song, show up, record. They'll sort everything so are you still? Do you still have Jambi with you? No. So at that point... <laughs> How did it? So we still had. You all just dumped Jambi like we that. No, we didn't dump her. We didn't. <laughs> we didn't dump her. Jambi, you know how much I love you. Uh, it's just what happened is there, there was kind of like a mutual part of ways yeah. at that point because it felt Penya felt like they already had a structure. Okay. Jambi was still in it actually. Even her first tour, she was still involved in a way, and then also she had her own things to do as well. Okay. So we just you know mutually parted ways, and Penya continued now with their own stuff. To make things happen okay so you guys now signed an opinion you've got basically a 360 deal yeah um tell wh- wh- what happens next so now the aim is working on this album one yeah. yeah so we we finished the album one so and uh you're still in school still in school okay still in school uh we launched it actually it was the year of post-election violence mm. at the end so that means that 2008 year. 2007 yes. Yes, 2007, was it? Post-election violence, yes, 2007, and, and then, of course, 2008, because yes. it was December. Yeah, so we launched the album at the end of that year um, at the museum, the National Museum. So at this point, we didn't even realize how big we were still. At the National Museum? Yes, 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 the upper... Uh, in it, right? yes. Museum Road, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just you launch it at the museum? At the museum, at the big hall, which the acoustics are horrible. Mm-hmm. But it's because we <laughs> we thought it would be like a good... I mean, now I think it's fixed. But at that point, it just it was a big, nice space. Yeah. It was central. And we know, didn't even have any venues. We, didn't well, have, we still we didn't. don't. We still have a venue problem. Yeah, yeah <laughs> we do. Uh-huh. So we did it there. And it so happened on that very day, Boniface Mwangi was doing his exhibition for post-election violence that very day oh imagine at the museum so it was it was very tense so the, actually the idea was to for him to do an exhibition like it was like a a, a merger in a way between us and him so mm. he uh, his exhibition was from i think three i can't remember the exact time then uh, guys start coming in uh, or rather the concerts will start at seven ish mm. hey, but by five day. it uh-huh. was full completely full Full, full, full. I remember peeking from backstage. You're like, what? All these people. Where did they come from? Who are they, first of all? <laughs> we don't understand what's going on. And we sold all the CDs. I, we performed all the songs, all the albums that we had there, all of them. And it's like everyone bought an album or two. Mm. And it was such a fantastic uh, release. And launch. No radio single, no, no video. No, no video yet. Okay. No video yet. Just the album is out. Uh, Laziz, I think, was recorded the next year, the video itself. But mm-hmm. it was just the audio. And then also now this time, because our sound is very alternative, and I remember who told me this story from KISS. So KISS being the number one top 40 station mm. at that time, or they were kind of new issues. It, it was just the thing. KISS yeah. was just up there. Still is, of course. So they used to play only like very pop music. Yep. It was actually Larry who told us. And they used to receive calls of people saying, play Lazizi, play Lazizi. It was too much, they, it was too much for them because they didn't see it as a pop song mm-hmm. that they had to give in and start playing it. That's how our song ended up on the radio. Because <laughs> <laughs> of the fans asking like, play, play this song, play this song, play this song. As Sauti Sola this time, uh, hold on, let me change some batteries, we'll be back. Ah, no worries.